Hello everyone, this is Fawad. Welcome to Future on Cloud. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can configure switches in stack. Currently, I have two 700 switches. I just named them switch 1 and switch 2. What I am going to do is I am going to connect and these stack cables in cross connection. FGE will be connected to switch 2 FGE04 and FGE04 of switch 1 will be connected to FGE03 of switch 2. So currently the cables are not connected. First of all I will configure all these steps. Then I powered off the switches. Then I'll connect these cables and then powered on in order to configure the stack in a proper way so these are the steps so let's get started so currently i am on switch one this stack port to the slash to press Y. Now so let's quit from here and configure second Also configured now by default the stack command is already enabled. Normally it is enabled by default, so no need to configure it, but in some switches it is not configured fully manually. Now add slot priority 120. I am just providing a higher priority here because I wanted to put it as a master switch. Again, it is a one. Why? In order to verify, like this is the same switch which you wanted to configure as a master switch, so just write down the MAC address. Let's check what is the MAC address of this interface. Later on, we will verify the MAC. Make sure this will be our master switch. So this is the save it. is backboard board is Now we have configured these two ports. 
in a step next the most important thing is have to gain the priority priority and the slot number to the command tax slot cov number why we are providing this command is once we combine these switches let's say you have more than two switches so you want to get the priority like master switch will start from port 0 slash 0 slash 0 then the second switch will start from 1 slash 0 slash 0 and third switch will start from 2 slash 0 slash 0 so this is the number that which you wanted to specify on a switch like if you specify here one then your switch port will start from one slash zero slash zero if you specify here number two then your switch port will start from two slash zero slash zero like here it is zero slash zero slash three once you renumber it from zero to one then it will start from one slash zero slash three right Number it <coughs> you can specify in a article one. priority and as priority here i have specified priority 120 that i wanted to be a master and if i reduce the priority like 100 it will be configured as a slave and This is this should be our entry. Switch. Once it is done, switch in the configuration perform all these switches. On all the switches, now our third step is power of both switches and connect the stack cables. These are the cables I am going to connect now after rebooting. Now I am going to devices. Rebooting just at your packet. Otherwise, you need to power off the switches by removing the power cable, then connect these stack cables and reboot the switch. Rebooting now. And I am connected on H1. process started so this is the time where it will start its election and select one of the switch as a master based on the priority whatever we have defined in the configuration just wait for a while in a couple of minutes you will see the election process here
So now it is initializing. So as you can see here, stack setup is enabled. So here you can see stack port one turned up, then stack port two turned up. It is only possible if you connect your stack cable in a proper way. So let's wait until the boot process is completed. Now all two. Let's try this. You can see the master switch E two and D B six zero is elected as a stand. The MAC address of our one E zero and DB six zero is our standby state. These are our device. This master part zero part one standby. One go, you can see on switch one. This is the remember what I was talking about. Speed number from zero to one by this cause of this command. Or zero remember to one. Speed number. I hope this video is informative for you. This is it for now for watching.